Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I want to wish every single one of you guys a happy, happy of holidays. Not sure how you guys celebrate on your side, but on our side we celebrated pretty, pretty big. So we're very excited about the holidays, um, kind of getting crazy over here on this side. But anyways, let's get into your reading. Let me step on my coffee real quick. <laughs> How are you doing, Aquarius? Sorry if you guys hear noise in the background. Um, yeah, there's kids in the house right now. <laughs> All right, let's get into your reading, Aquarius. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages that you have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is it that they need to know at this present time regarding their connection, regarding their love life and romance? What is unfolding for them? Give us a clear picture. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, I'm going to shuffle one more. All right, let's get into it. Your first card here, Aquarius, is the Strength card, Partners cards, Page of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Wands, sorry, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. Wow. Okay. Partners cards, the world card, the four of cups, and the eight of swords. Okay. I see you've been dealing with a situation where you've had enough, Aquarius. Uh, this could represent dealing with a lot of inconsistencies. Um, and it's getting to the point of knowing your worth, knowing your strength, and knowing what you bring to the table. And if they're not willing to reciprocate that, you've either emotionally checked out or you're ready to move on. I see you going towards the Ace of Pentacles here with the Ace of Wands. There's there's definitely newness around you, Aquarius. I feel like, especially those of you guys that are single, you're done being single. There is like, I'm ready. I am confident. I am like in my own power right now and I'm making shit happen. Ace of Pentacles is a representation of something coming towards you that is, has the potential for something long term. At the Ace of Wands, very strong and physical connection um, could also represent being very passionate about this connection. So it's almost like uh, when you meet a person and you feel that you're being very drawn to them, that you feel your energy is just being pulled towards each other like magnets, a very powerful type of energy. Now, the person that you were dealing with or could potentially be dealing with at the moment, if they've been holding back or you haven't heard from them, you will be hearing from them. Why? Because they're coming to the understanding that you're ready to move on or that you've emotionally checked out and you're not going to be entertaining anything that is wasting your time. Uh, the world card can also symbolize knowing that there is an ending cycle here and they're not ready just about to let go. Four of Cups does indicate feeling like they're being rejected or feeling like, you know, Aquarius hasn't checked on, you know, checked on me in a bit. Let me see what they're doing. The moment they kind of start to sense that you're moving on, it's like the time that they start to come back around. Why? Because they're sensing that there is no longer emotional connection there. Um, so it's almost like, not sure if you guys have ever experienced the, uh, when you're obsessing over someone, it's like it's you push them further. The moment you start working on yourself or focusing all your energy on yourself and other options, it's like the ex comes back around, right? It's like they sense that you're moving on and they're like, let me let me mess with their head for a little bit. I feel like that's not working even if you do hear from them and they pop up again um, wanting to offer you empty promises. I feel like you're aware of this type of behavior and you're no longer connecting with it or you're no longer embracing it. Um, so they're definitely going to be feeling stuck. They're going to be uh, even remorseful about certain aspects of this connection or how they treated you in the past. Now, for those of you guys that are single, this could represent a person coming back around and this could be a person that was from your past, recent past in the next six months, not next, in the previous six months, sorry. Um, and this is them, again, wanting to show up, wanting to see if you're willing to take them back. I feel that this has more to do with like a power... Uh, power move wanting to see if they still have some type of control over you um, for others of you this could represent just a petty ex uh, hearing or seeing you on social media seeing that you're doing good or you're living your best life um, over here with the two aces and that's not sitting well with them uh, the world card is the 
it, it's a completion of a cycle getting ready to begin a new cycle but it's like there's a refusal of that um let me come back into aquarius life let me promise them things that i know i cannot fulfill um and let me see if they're willing to take me back or entertain my energy because if they do that then i am fully aware uh that they still have or they still want or they still desire me so i feel more than anything this has more to do with power moves um of course aquarians are extremely smart you can see through people's bullshit. so again embrace this new path that you're being guided to uh with these two aces again there may be an opportunity to start or to have a connection in the end of november i want to say for some of you guys you're going to be dealing with a specific leo for others of you you're going to be dealing specific a leo or a sagittarius for others you may be dealing with a taurus or a virgo um and i also see aries here as well so again um if you are dealing with a situation where the ex is po popping back up all of a sudden when you're connecting with someone or someone recently came into your life don't entertain that person from the past because i feel like it's a waste of time and they're just wanting to see if they still have some type of control over you aquarius i want to wish all of you guys the very best happy holidays don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see each other soon bye